Today we're going to look at how we can track important elements of our story. And we're going to look at how Scrivener does it specifically. They do it by what they term labels. Over here on the left we have our binder and you'll notice that these documents all have different colors assigned to them. That is done through the use of labels. Let's go to a specific scene that you find over here on the right hand side in the inspector. So this document is blank because this is a scene that I haven't written but I know that it's my opening scene. Here's how we make that change. Click the down arrow come down here to edit. The metadata settings window opens up. As you can see there are already several labels in here. Some of them were default that came you know, with the project and some of them, that these last five, are ones that I have already created. Creating a new label specifically for whatever you want to track is as simple as clicking on this plus sign. Now, Scrivener automatically gives it a color, opens a box with the flashing cursor, and all you have to do is type in the information that you want. Say you're writing a story that takes place in five different places, and you need to know, you need to track those scenes and where those scenes are happening. So, let's say Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Type it in, simply click return, and you have it. Now, if you don't like the color it has given, double click on that tab and pick a color. You can customize the color, but I'm going to make it simple and you know, simply select one. Click OK, and now you'll see that we have a new color. As you're creating these labels, you can just continue to go through this process, click on the plus sign as many times as you need, and create all of the labels that you need. When you're done, click OK. Come over here to the inspector. Let's select Fort Lauderdale. And now we have this labeled as Fort Lauderdale over here in the scene. It's pretty hard to see that color but you can see that that icon now is yellow. We can view these colors in several different ways. Come up to view, come down to use label color in. We can, we can select all four of these options if we so choose. Binder, icons, index cards, outliner rows. Let's take a look and see what it looks like if we select the binder. Okay, now you can see that each of these items has a lot more color to it. Not just the individual icon, but the entire line. This one with the red dot is the active document. That's how you, at a quick glance, can determine when you have color in your document, which document you've actually got active. Let's take a look at how it will look if we select that color in our outliner rows. Over here to outliner, to select it up. So now we can see all these colors in our outline. <clears throat> this is a little overwhelming for me, but if I needed to see very quickly at a glance how many scenes I had in somebody's point of view or how many scenes were taking place in a specific place, then I would certainly see it this way. You can also see that color in index cards. Right now it just shows the little icon and the corner. If we were to select index cards, now the entire index card is that color. So that's how we can very quickly assign a color and track specific elements of our story so that we don't get lost as to where we are or we can track a specific time frame, we can track point of view, whatever item it is that you need to track and be able to know at a quick glance 
how weighted your scenes are for that specific element, this is how you'll do it.